Welcome to Lost Pines. We are glad you're here. When you first arrive at camp, please park in the lot across the road from Lindsay Lodge. This lot should be used for parking cars and trailers during camp, since they're not allowed in campsites. You may use one vehicle to pull one trailer to the gateway of your campsite. All other vehicles must be parked in this parking lot. Remember, BSA policy prohibits anyone from riding on a trailer or in the back of a pickup truck. One trailer is allowed to park at the gateway entrance to your campsite during the week. Exceptions must have the approval of the camp director. If you need assistance in bringing heavy gear into your campsite, please let us know during check-in and we can provide assistance. Many troops find it useful to teach their scouts to pack light and to bring a garden wagon for heavy items. Some campsites are further from the gateways than others, so pack light and plan ahead. When you arrive at Lindsay Lodge, you'll be assigned your troop guide for the week. While the adults are checking in, the troop guide will take your troop for orientation and games on the field across the road. The adult leaders will go to the Lindsay Lodge for administrative and financial check-in, while another adult leader does their medical recheck at the Health Lodge. Medical rechecks will be given to each troop on arrival. The medical recheck is a quick once-over conducted by our medical officer immediately upon your troop's arrival. Leaders should take scouts with medication or other medical needs to the health lodge during these rechecks. Prepare your troop medical forms and medication log in a three-ring binder with scout names in alphabetical order followed by adults before you arrive at camp. These will be returned to you after camp. All scouts need up-to-date medical, doctor, and insurance information. This must be submitted at check-in. Parts A, B, and C of the BSA Annual Health and Medical Record must be complete and signed by the scout's parent or guardian and signed by a physician within the last 12 months. Scouts without their medical form will not be allowed to stay overnight. Be sure and ask the scout's parents for medications and dispensing information. Remember, all medicine must be labeled for the scout in its original container with prescription label. Make two copies of your medication log, one for the health lodge and one to keep yourself. The other adult leader taking care of the troop's administrative and financial paperwork will need the following. Copies of youth protection cards, copies of a signed background check form, proof of payment or a method of payment, and adult membership cards. The BSA membership cards and youth protection cards will be filed in the A building and not returned, so be sure to make copies for us to keep. The state of Texas requires that all adults staying overnight have a signed background check permission form plus the classroom version of the youth protection training. If your youth protection card doesn't have this code, then you'll need to take the classroom version this afternoon. Remember, adults must have the appropriate documentation or they will not be permitted to stay overnight. Unless your troop has performed its own swim checks before coming to camp, you'll need to take the troop to the pool where each scout and adult planning to swim or visit the waterfront must take their swim check. Blank buddy tags will be issued for each scout and scout leader at check-in. There are no exceptions to this requirement. And finally, to show our appreciation of your choosing to come to our camp, the adult leaders will pick up their troop's gift items. Following check-in, your troop guide will take your troop on a camp tour. The tour will include the dining hall where the scouts will learn of their assigned table they will be responsible for during the week and how to enter for meals. Enjoy your time at camp and thanks for being here. <laughs>